So I want to start out with a size 12 jig fly hook and a 1 8 bead. 1 8 inch bead. You want to use 70 black denier thread for this fly. Hey, what are you doing? Don't start that fly. You don't want to do that. Back that off. Okay, what you want to do is you want to start your lead. So you're going to start your lead. You're going to leave a little piece wrapped in that one finger. Wrap the other one out so you have a little tag end. And the other hand, wrap it all the way up to as uh, close to the bead as you can get. Keep the thread wrapped as close as you can. And then once you get the lead wrapped on, then you break off the two tags and push it up into the bead as far as you can. Now you're going to start your thread right behind the wraps of lead. And you can use them wraps to uh, push the lead up in. Now you're gonna add a piece of gold, fine gold wire for a rib. And I kind of like to start that right at the end of the lead. It kind of makes a smooth hand transition from the lead wraps down to the bend of the hook. Now for the tail, we're gonna use an olive dyed Pheasant tail. We're going to measure it for length, the same length as the hook shank. Somebody I'm sure is like, why didn't you run your thread up behind the bead already and fill in that lead? I like to use this pheasant tail to fill in the lead wrap because otherwise the wrap of lead just the thread kind of separate the wraps of lead. It just keeps it from happening. And it also builds up the body so you don't use much dubbing. What I got here is a medium pearl pencil, and I'm going to tie that in underneath the hook. And uh, this might be the hardest part of this fly, getting that. I like to have it. So when it's in this position, it'll be st straight up. And I kind of almost tie it in on the side and then move it to the top as I wrap it back. So we got here is uh, an olive dyed rabbit hair with the guard hairs in it. It's all extra shaggy and has the hair sticking out. And uh, everybody's like, why aren't you starting back? Well, I looked at my old notes and my old fly tying notes when I was a kid recently. And this is a technique that he taught me. It's putting very little dubbing on the hook, on the line. Starting in the front, going all the way to the back, and then back up to the bead. If you use a little bit of dubbing, it works great. It's more secure. It helps hold the dubbing on better.
wow, I can't believe it went that well. Usually I have to add or take off. That was the perfect amount of dubbing. And you basically take that piece of flat tinsel you have and you're going to wrap it over and tie it down right behind the bead and cut off the waist. If you ever leave a little tag, I sometimes leave it there on purpose. I like the extra flash and when you rib this thing, it'll tie that all down you won't even notice it. Now, if your thing doesn't end up right on the bottom of the flyer or the top in this position here or off to the side, it does not really make that much of a difference. It doesn't make a difference how many fish you can, it's going to catch or how deadly this fly is. It's off to the side or, heck, even on the top if you don't want to tie it up under here. I'm also going to throw a half hitch in. I noticed that going back to my own notes is the old instructor used to throw half hitches on at certain points of the fly. Now this part especially for the guys who got the rotation vice. If you don't, just wrap it by hand, but I'm going to try and use the vice. The problem I don't like with it is it keeps making the fly in this video clear, blurry, kind of a pain in the butt. But I'd rather do it by hand. I'd never, u I'd never use the rotary part of my vice unless to turn it to show you. It's not that important to me. Um, just for video recording importance, it is. But you just rear this up to behind, and I'd take one wrappy right behind the bead to tie that down. Helicopter and break off the wire. Do you see the gap in there between the bead and that? I need to fill that in. So I got an idea. We're going to take this ice brown, brown ice dubbing. And we're gonna add it to the thread really loosely so it has hair hanging all over it, and that's what we're gonna add right behind the bead. Hope you like that fly. This is a deadly, deadly urine nymph. Tie these up and get them out there if you're your trying urine nymphing. Hope you like this video. Check out the other videos in this playlist above me here. Check, keep your lines wet, out of the trees, and only give them fish a sore lip. You all have a good day. See you next Friday.